welcome to Crafty Little Things, I'm Andrea, thanks for joining me today, we've got a nice sunny day again today, um, nice clear blue sky, so hopefully it's going to stay that way. Um, yeah, what I'd like to show you today is this box I'm making, um, now it's the first time I've made it like this, um, it's a new sort of box for um, a product that I make in my business and um, um, I needed a box that was sort of four by four by four. So this is the first time I've made this one. Um, so it's kind of my prototype. So I'm hoping it works out. Um, I've only got A4 paper to go with. It might be easier if I had um, 12 by 12 um, mint macaron. But I wanted this mint mac this sort of minty green paper. And I haven't got it in a 12 by 12. So... Eight and a half inches then by six and a half inches and you need two of those pieces. So that's 20.3 centimetres by 15.2. And what I've done is I've scored on the long side, I've scored at half an inch, that's 3.8 centimetres, and at four and a half inches, which is 11.4 centimetres. And then on the short side, I've scored at two and a half inches. So that's 6.4 centimetres. And I've done that on both pieces, okay? You can see my score lines there. I've done the scores on both pieces. Then for the lid, I've got a piece that measures six by six and it's scored at an inch on each side, okay? I made a little bit of a mistake there because mine was just slightly less than an inch there but because it's a prototype, I wasn't that fussy. And then what I've done is I've moved it slightly away from the edge of the scoreboard, just a sixteenth of an inch, just to give me that little bit of extra to um, make my um, just give me that little, that little bit of extra to make my um, lid fit. And then you need four pieces, and I'm using very vanilla here. You need four pieces that measure three and a half inches square, so that's 8.9 centimetres. And then you need a slightly bigger piece, and this piece, this piece measured three and three quarters square, which is seven, um, 9.5 centimetres. And then what I did was I used an edging framework. I've you've probably seen me use them before. One of these, I used the straight one, just to to um, scallop the corners and put the stitching on and then you need a piece of mint macaron that measures three and a quarter square which is 8.3 and that'll fit just nicely inside that stitching and then I've got a letter which is going to go in there which is the baby's initial George okay and then onto these, I've um, die cut using this. Oh, I thought that was the die. It's not. It's a piece I've got out. Using this die that I picked up on eBay, I've cut out four of those for the sides. Okay. And then I've got this little tag. I've got some satin, uh, very vanilla ribbon. And this little tag and sentiment, a great big welcome for a sweet little someone. And this comes from the, um, where's my set gone? This comes from the Little Wild um, stamp set and the Little Loves coordinating framelits. Put that back down there. So, I'm going to start to assemble it then. Um, now, these, what you can do to make them look a bit better is you can stick them on. I'm going to stick them on towards the bottom so the elephant is nearly on the bottom so that when the lid goes on, it's not covering up too much, okay? Um... And what you can do is you can glue them down and then once they're glued down you can cover them with a piece of cardstock or a piece of, a piece of paper 
and run them through the big shot and I'll show you what happens. how much better that looks if you look at in terms of it, it looks like it's been embossed on now instead of just glued on can you see the difference it's just so much better um i don't know if you can actually if you can see the difference well i can see the difference <laughs> if you i'm trying put them side by side can you see how much more of a relief there is on this one that's obviously been stuck on this one looks more like it's been embossed on so i just i just like that because it just makes it smoother so i'm just going to do that on the other two Right, so all these panels are ready now, so they're just going to go off and dry. Okay, and look to see if you've got some that are better than others, because then you can put those. Right, the so front. I'm just going to do my lid first. I'm just going to fold and burnish the score lines on my lid. You can reinforce the lid if you want, it's up to you. All you do is you add an extra inch on each side, fold that over. I'll put the corners off. This is just going to be cut up the bottom right corner on each side to turn it through 90 degrees and cut your bottom right corner up to your first horizontal and then I'm just going to notch these tabs in. You don't have to but I'm going to And this is just simple box making. The only thing is, is that we're going to make the box body in two parts. So that um, we can get that size we want. Because if you're doing a 4x4x4x4, four by four by four by four, it's a bit... Um, a four by, I can't be carried away there. If you're doing a 4x4x4 four by four by four box, then it, you can't really make it in one piece. Because, well, straight away you know that your four fours are adding up to 16. And your three fours for your lid and your bottom, if you were doing it as a flat lid, are going to add up to uh, 12. That gives you nothing to glue together. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. As I said, my my box is a bit a bit skew with because um, my piece of mint macaron was a little bit it wasn't cut straight. That was the problem, and so it ended up with a shorter side. But don't worry about that because I mean, if you did end up with a shorter side, you could always put a trim of um, you could cut. A trim out of cardstock or something and just pop pop it on that'll be fine right for these then I'm going to do the same thing to each one so fold up your score lines this is what I mean you see how stiff and rigid this is compared to the whisper white the whisper white is just a heavy like quality paper it's, 
is not really like a cardstock unless you buy the extra thick whisper white. I mean it's strong enough to make boxes but it's not it's not as strong as this and I don't know how they can well they say it's the same GSM I don't know how it can be well you can tell if it is because you just weigh it weigh a piece of A4 whisper white and a piece of card and see what happens so these are obviously going to glue together just to make the box okay so you don't need these little bottom bits here so you can notch this in, notch that in, and just trim that off there. Oops. And do the same with the other piece. Notch that in, keep your longer piece, and get rid of your shorter piece. And then cut up your two score lines in the middle. And then if you want, you can figure out which is going to be your front and which is going to be your back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my glue on first. I'm just going to put my glue on the outside of one tab and I'm just going to line it up. With the edge there and glue it down. Make sure it's butted up nice and squarely and glue it down. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to glue that You could put your panels on before you do this, but it's still flat. Just make sure you put your panels on before you fold it into the box and, and make it permanent. Now, your flaps all come down, so you pick your best side. You want your last flap always to be a front flap because that gives you the nicest sort of finish. Okay, so before we do that though, I'm going to pop the panels on. fold the side panels down so I'm just going to put some glue on the edge of this one I think my Tombow is running out now serve me well this Tombow I like it when it seems to last forever and then I'm going to decide which is the front this one's going to be the front okay so I'm going to just put glue all over that tab And then what I'd do is I'd get some white, um, I'm just going to put a bit, little bit on this one as well. I'd get some white tissue or some ivory tissue and I'd stamp it with um, either the baby's initials or a little sentiment of some sort. There it is, there's a the box lid. And then you can see that you can still see most of this even though the box lid is on okay and then the little tag I'm just going to tie it into a bow glue dot on and just stick it on the corner there that's the a lovely big dot. box and then the um it's going to stack in like five um well the clouds and stars and there we go 
beautiful. Um, so I probably will make this again at some point because um, I don't always like to film me making a prototype but then again I probably won't because I might make a Christmas version of a 4x4x4. Four by four by four. Okay, so thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed making that.